In this pro bike, we're going to check out Mark Bowant Saracen Mist. So full Thanks, carbon. Scott. I think I can do this. Okay. Okay, so here we have my 2016 Saracen Mist team. It's a full carbon frame. I ride a large. It's actually quite a big bike for somebody my size, but gives me a little bit of stability and plenty of room to move around on the bike. First of all, we'll start up the top, the important stuff. So I've got Pro Grips and I've got the Pro 9.8 Tharsis bars. They're 760 mil wide, so not really as wide as some of the other riders on, on the circuit, perhaps because I'm a little bit old fashioned and I've had to come from a narrower bar, I don't know. Um, brakes, I've got the Shimano Saint, um, 200 mil rotors front and rear. Uh, goes without saying that's a four pot system on there. The handlebars matched also with the Tharsis 9.8 stem. There's a 45 mil and a 50 mil option on that stem. I usually run it in the 50 mil majority of the time. Underneath there, I have a little five mil spacer that's really useful and comes with the stem when you get them. Underneath, I've got 10 mil there, so it's 15 mil in total that lifts it up. It's quite a small head tube on this bike, so I want the front a little bit higher, take the pressure off my arms, especially on the longer, rougher tracks. Um, fork goes without saying, Fox suspension, front and rear. It's the Fox 40 with the Kashima coating. Really super adjustable fork, air spring, um, high and low speed compression here on the right, and then rebound down below. Um, it's a 63 and a half degree head angle. We actually play with a few different head angles and I've changed a couple of times. I was slightly steeper before at 64, but now I'm pretty comfortable with a 63 and a half. Now onto the rear shock. It's a Fox X2, as I previously mentioned. Infinitely adjustable, this shock. You've got high and low speed compression here on the blue dials and then high and low speed rebound. That means that you can have a really supple shock at the start and go in harder or likewise on the rebound, you can have it nice and quick for the small bumps and then a little bit slower to catch when you hit those bigger hits or big jumps. Match that with a, a lightweight steel spring from Fox. This is relatively new technology and moving away from titanium that we've seen in the past. I tend to run a coil shock on this bike the majority of time. I like the way it works and I like the feel of it compared to the air one. So onto the seat, uh, theme continues with the pro uh, components. We have the Tharsis 9.8 seat post and seat. Moving back to the drivetrain, Shimano 10 speed Saint throughout. We've got a Shimano chain and Shimano's own SMCD chain device with the little bash plate on the bottom there. The reason it's there is I ride right foot forward so I can protect it when I land heavily off a jump or smack into something with the chain device that tends to happen from time to time. Uh, Shimano Saint cranks, they're 165 mil long. Short cranks means I can spin quite high leg speed when I'm getting on the pedals in my race runs. And also Shimano DX pedals. Onto the wheels, we have Shimano Saint hubs matched to the DT Swiss EX471 rim. We also use the 570 from time to time, but where I can save weight and get away with a lighter wheel, I like to do so. Tires, we have the Kaiser Projects from Continental. I tend to use these tires in <clears throat> sort of dry conditions. Um, really good tires and um, yeah, really like them. I'll now pass you on to my able assistant who's going to weigh the bike. Actually, my bike. It's going to weigh. Go on then. I don't actually know myself. I'm excited. We've never weighed this. 36 point eight. It's not too bad. Go on, jump yourself on there. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? Well, I think I've done a good job of setting her up. Not bad. I could Just... give you a few tips. I'm sure you could. I could give you a few tips. Yeah? If you click up here, you can get through to the Mission Control playlist. If you click down there, you're going to get to a Pro Bike playlist. And if you click on the ball, you can subscribe to the channel and you'll never miss a video. Bum up like. <laughs>